You know, speaking of Jordan, uh, I interviewed William Bedford. Yeah, I love William Bedford. Uh, you guys play together, right? Yeah, we play together. Yeah. Well, we talked about, you know, the whole bad boys, you know, slander that Michael Jordan yeah. would, would speak on uh, during his interviews. He said, you see two different styles with us and them, the dirty play and the flagrant fouls and the unsportsmanlike conduct. Hopefully, that'll be eliminated from the game. I think we can play clean basketball. We don't go out and try to hurt people and dirty up the game. You never lose respect for the champions, but I haven't agreed with the methods they use. I think people are happy the game will go back to a clean game with a Bulls triumph away from the bad boy image. Right. It's called propaganda. So in propaganda, when one, Michael didn't speak a lot. But then when he did made a, make a statement is why you were able to read it back. I, I can guarantee you, you can only find like 10 statements he's ever made in the time he's played. Phil Jackson wind up saying the same thing. And, and it was a trip because James Worthy even said, those are not bad boys. The bad boys are the Lakers. Like everyone, I mean, are the uh, Celtics. Like they know when they put in the bruises what was about to happen. It was like a hockey game. We didn't do that. Bill and Bear really never fouled anybody. If you look at the things they call in fouls, he would put his hands up or he would swipe down at the ball. Wait, didn't Bill and Bear have a video game where it was like a combination of like boxing and basketball or something like that? You know what I'm know. talking about? Wait, no. Hold on. Didn't Bill and Bear hold on? Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I don't I don't know that. But the, to answer to what what Michael was saying, once yeah, you- Bill Ambeer's combat basketball. It was an actual game called Bill M for the Super Nintendo. Really? And you go tell me that that he played clean all the way through. I, he you, had a f- game called Combat Basketball. If you look at the fouls, Bill Ambeer fouled people with. It was swatting down at the ball, or standing straight up and leaning against you. Like no one can say he just took anybody out of the air. It, I, I played with him. If if he hit you, and if he body checked you, coming across the lane, that was that was legal at one time. Um, I say, when you hear that, and you have the audience, and the audience reads that, now that's implanted implanted in their subconscious. Phil Jackson is a master of the mind, and feeding that kind of stuff and having Michael say that kind of stuff make the NBA more alert. It made the referees have conversations. So anything that looked like a hard foul before, because we was going against the Messiah, it looked like bloody murder. Mm. So that's, and him saying clean and dirty, he's clean, they're dirty. You know, it's kind of like, you know, Spanish Inquisition. (laughs) Well, the thing that, that William Bedford said in response to that quote was he actually said that Jordan's a hypocrite because Jordan ended up taking a lot of the Detroit players to the Bulls. It didn't clean up. It didn't stop. Other teams picked it up. The New York Knicks picked it up right after us. So, True. no, the bad boy image didn't stop. It didn't, it didn't go anywhere. you know. And he beefed up to get those next championships, too. They started playing the same way. Why? Because you got our players. Right. Think about it. Right. You. Buddha. Uh, mm-hmm. Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman, who who became a, a center point of that right. team. Pillars. Remember, I a told pillar. you. A pillar. A pillar. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think that you know the Bulls would have had the kind of run they had without Rodman. No. If you don't have the Supremes, it, it, it hasn't been many two man groups that we still talk about. Right. We talk about three man group, three, three man girl group. groups, three right. three guy groups. We talk about that. Um, we they needed that. They needed that stability, and they had four. They had Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson had the, had literally the offense with Tex winners, and the way he did things. And he had he had defense and rebounding. He had a point guard who can defend, rebound, and shoot the three, and Michael Jordan who can do all four things. So that that's why the Bulls were who the Bulls were. And that's why the Golden State Warriors are who the Golden State Warriors are. Steve Kerr brings in an offense and a system that stays there, Curry, Clay, and Draymond. It, it, it's really how you win. If I do it with Miami, I'll do it again. We'll do it with LeBron, D. Wade, Bosch, uh, Pat Riley, and the coaching system that was in place. That's how you win. That's how, that's how you get it done.